problem 921 asks us to consider a very simple frame setup. This has a tension member here. This is two point five meters. Center here, and this is 1.5 meters, and this beam is labeled CVD. And the tension member is AB. It is also given that tension member AB is a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter square and that is a assumed to be a bar the load at point d is 12.5 kilometers We are asked to specify a suitable alloy for tension member AB. In order to do that, we need to know the stress that's on AB and consider an appropriate design stress for it. To know the stress, we need to know the force and the area. So first we will work on calculating the force. This we do by making it a free body diagram. Force A B here. Twelve point five kilometers here. And C in the Y direction here. There are no X forces, so I'm considering no this. In fact, we can simply take the moments about point C, and then we don't have to consider the forces at C at all. We must equal zero, and we need to consider force on tension number AB, and that force is multiplied by the 2.5 meters from AB to point C, and we are assuming that it's going up, which gives it a counterclockwise rotation about CY. So that means it's a positive moment. We add to that the moment of the 12.5 kilonewton force. Consider the we need to multiply the 12.5 kilonewtons times four meters, which is the distance from D all the way to point C. And now we can solve for force AB. AB ends up being positive. 20 kilometers. 
Okay, now we have our course. Our area is fairly simple, straightforward. It is 20 millimeters squared. As this is a square cross section, and this yields 400 square millimeters. So the stress, normal stress, on this tension member is the force or the area, in this case AB, over the area of AB, twenty kilonewtons over four hundred square millimeters. You'll notice a newton per square millimeter. This is a megapascal. The K stands for a thousand. So we have twenty thousand divided by four hundred. Yields fifty units megapascals. Considering this is a repeated load, we are given that the design stress should be equal to the ultimate stress divided by 8. So we're going to set this equal to our calculated stress of 50 megapascals. Solving for the ultimate stress of our material. We end up with 400 megapascals. Looking at the appendices in the back, this would yield any of these aluminum now 2014 T4 has an S in megapascals ultimate stress uh, 427, the 2014 T6 has an ultimate stress of 483 megapascals, and 70, 75 T6, which has an ultimate strength of 572 megapascals. Any of these three materials would work in this situation. To recap, we started with a statics problem, a simple frame, a tension member, and beam. In order to find the force on the tension member, we needed to analyze the beam, yielding the force on the tension member. We also needed to calculate the area for the tension member. This gave us the direct stress, namely the design stress. This design stress we set equal to the ultimate strength of the material we're looking for over 8 as our design factor. Set that equal to the 50 megapascals. So our, the ultimate strength we need from our material is eight times the design stress because of the repeated load, 400 megapascals, then 
we can choose our material based on primarily the strength, but also now we have a choice depending on cost, environmental factors, etc.